What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be reviewing Milton Bradley's Easy Money Game. This game came out in 1996 and it is for two to four players. Now this game is not to be confused with the game Easy Money that plays like Monopoly that came out a long time ago. Uh, this is a very different game. Uh, this is basically a game where you're going to be uh, dealing with piles and piles of money and you're going to be playing some uh, light little betting games throughout and uh, you're basically going to go and go and go until the game ends and then you're going to count up your money to see who wins. So let's show you Easy Money. Okay, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and show you the components really quick. Uh, as you can tell, first of all, there's a ton of money here in the middle of the board. Uh, it's broken into uh, wads, and uh, they've got basically four different types of wads. they got wads that are worth $100,000, $200,000, $500,000, and then a cool one million dollars. Now in the beginning of the game everybody is going to take two wads from each of these piles. So they'll take two from here, two from here, etc. And it comes out to around 3.6 million dollars. Alright, so after everybody goes ahead and gets their uh, their money, they're going to go ahead and place one or two wads on this double space over here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and place a couple, I'll just place a couple of them on here just to show you. And I'll talk about what this means here in a little bit. So uh, right here is your mover, and everybody is going to be moving this. There's only one of these, so it's basically a universal mover, and you're just going to basically be moving around the board, and uh, you're just basically, and you're going to be doing uh, different types of money games uh, depending on what you land on. Um, now the game is going to end as soon as all of the money is uh, out here in the middle of the board, and then you're going to do what is called the final lottery. So I'll go ahead and talk about uh, what the different spaces are. Right here is your start space, and there's one here and one here. Uh, uh, if a player passes this, he's going to go ahead and collect $1 million here from the middle. If he ends up landing on this, he's going to collect $2 million. Now there's uh, spaces here that say double and nothing. If, you land, if someone lands on the double spot, then whatever money that uh, everybody has placed into this, is they are going to receive that from the money pile. So since I put a $1 million in here, I am going to end up receiving $1 million and uh, everybody else is going to receive whatever they uh, put in here. Uh, now, when that happens, they have the option to basically uh, keep this there or put in a different amount. Now, you have to make sure that you have money on here because if you end up landing on the double space or the nothing space or somebody else does, you're going to have to end up paying a uh, $500,000 penalty. So you have to make sure that there is at least one wad on here. Uh, now, conversely, if you land on the space that says nothing, uh, any money that you have here, you are going to lose and it's going to go here into the middle and then once again you'll go ahead and replace uh, that with uh, some money from your pile. There's also three different types of cards in the game here. You have your Wall Street cards um, which uh, goes along with the Wall Street game over here and I'll talk about that in a little bit. You have your lottery tickets and uh, everybody is going to receive one card in the beginning and there's these numbers over here that are in the back and what you're going to do is you're going to roll uh, those red, white, and blue die over there, uh, whoever ends up uh, landing on that spot. And then you have the mystery jackpot card. Uh, you'll just simply pick this card up and do whatever it says if you land on that spot. Uh, there's a mystery jackpot space over here, it looks like this. Uh, now, if you land on Wall Street, which is over here, um, everybody's going to have an opportunity to uh, place a bet uh, whether the, you think the stock market is going to go up or down. Now, on the front of the card, it's going to have a stock tip on here. Uh, in this case, it says up. Now, that does not necessarily mean that it is going to be going up. Uh, that's just a stock tip. Uh, so after everybody places money, let's just say I happen to put, like, say, um, $200,000 over here. Everybody goes ahead and makes their wager. And then in this case, uh, it says stock market is up and it tells you the payoff. So in this case, I'll receive $200,000. But there's some cards uh, that have... A higher payoff uh, like this one this is a two to one um, and as you can see the stock market tip was up on this but the market actually went down but the payoff is greater over here so in this case you would receive double what you placed over here all uh, right now as far as the lottery goes uh, if you end up landing on the lottery space or somebody else lands on the lottery space, well, there's lottery spaces here and here, and there's also one here. There's already $1 million in there. Um, so what's going to happen is you are going to go ahead and pick these three dice up, and then everybody's going to look at their tickets. And let's just say I went ahead and I rolled, and I rolled a 6, a 1, and a 5. So I'll go ahead and rearrange these dice here. 
Uh, I have a 1.6 and a 5, so I'm basically looking for a 1.65. I have a 1.63, uh, but I do not have a 1.65. So if somebody had a red 1, a white 6, and a blue 5 in this case, they would end up winning the lottery. And they would go ahead and win the $1 million that was in here. Um, and uh, then you would go ahead, turn in all the cards, uh, reshuffle them, give everybody one card, and then replace the $1 million. So that's how the lottery tickets work. Now we go to the lucky dice, and this involves this money strip over here. Uh, basically what's going to happen, is everybody is going to go ahead and place money on these strips and you're going to roll these two dice over here and uh, you can place two wads of money on one of the numbers or one wad of money on two of the numbers like a six and a nine and uh, anytime you when you start rolling they are going to end up winning money now if you end up rolling a seven you are going to collect all the money that is on everybody's money strip uh, now uh, if the number four, five, six, eight, nine, or ten are rolled, uh, then the other players are going to end up winning money if they've happened to place money uh, on one of these symbols. So let's say I happen to roll a nine. Let's say this guy placed uh, two hundred thousand dollars over here. Uh, he's going to receive the payout of two to one, which in this case he's going to basically win four hundred thousand uh, dollars for that. And basically, you're just going to keep on rolling until all the money is cleared from uh, the strips. Now, if you end up rolling a 2, 3, or a 12 on the dice, then you are going to go ahead and end up winning $100,000 from the middle. And again, you'll just keep on rolling until all the money has been cleared from all of the money strips. Now we go to the greed. Now, greed is uh, rather fun. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to pick a player, and then you're going to roll one of these dies. And any whatever number you roll, so long as it's not a 1, they are going to have to pay you that much money. But this is a pressure luck game. So let's say I roll, and I roll the 2, so he's going to owe me... $200,000. Let's so say, okay, I'm going to go again, and I roll, and I roll the five. So now he's going to owe me another $500,000. And I can keep on going as long as I want. And let's just say I roll, and I ended up, he ended up paying me, say, $2 million. So he would go ahead and pay me the $2 million. But if I end up rolling a one, then I will have lost all the money that I had earned up to that point. So uh, it's a pressure luck game. If you run out of money over here, you're going to do what is called a final lottery. Everybody's going to have a lottery ticket. Whoever's turn it is is going to roll these dice, and everyone's going to look at the ticket that they have. And if somebody has the winning ticket, they're going to go ahead and win the money. If nobody has the winning ticket, then everybody is going to place $500,000 of their money into the lottery. And then the dice are going to keep on getting rolled until somebody ends up winning the lottery. And so after that, that will end the game, and everybody will simply go ahead and count up the amount of money that they have in their hands. And whoever has the most amount of money is going to win the game. And that, folks, is easy money. So my final thoughts on easy money. You know, I like this game. Obviously, this game is themed around money. I mean, this game has tons and tons of money bills <laughs> in there. And I tell you, I wish I had that much in real life. Uh, this is a very light game, real easy to learn. Uh, this is a good game to play, like if you're just wanting to kill some time and just have a game with family and friends that's uh, easy to learn and fun. I mean, it's a fun game. There's really not much as far as strategy goes. This just happens to deal with money betting. Um, and, uh, you know, a little bit of luck and doing the lottery. I like a lot of the uh, little games that they put in here. Uh, very cool. They have a pressure luck type of a game. They have the little lottery. Um, they've got little jackpot cards you can draw, and you can win some money that way. Um, and you've got various ways that you can bet. I would definitely recommend this game. Uh, if you like easy, low-stress games, uh, this definitely would fit the bill. Um, I'm not quite sure how much this goes for. I would guess it probably goes for around $15. Uh, this is a game that I found at a thrift store, and uh, it had everything in there. And I thought that this is actually uh, the first easy money game, the Monopoly type one, until I looked at it, and I realized that it was not. Um, so you don't have to think too much. This is just a game you can just play and enjoy with your friends. So, guys, that's my review of Easy Money. Y'all have a great day. Keep on gaming. I'll see you later.